Shout out my man, Shabalik, for the phones. I'm gonna give out prayers and I'm going to Yabas, my side, by some of the cards that The man's high passes, we know some well, peace out, say, taste of holy wisdom, wellness, truth, say, taste of hopeful, Akim, that's scattering abroad throughout the nations, laying this truth, laying this work within truth and sincerity. And then shout out to the apostles and the brothers of GMS who I learned this truth from. I am Brother Kratza, and uh, it's going to be a, a holy conversation. It's basically a part two of that last video I did uh, about the dream I had. <clears throat> but first, I'm going to get this book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. And yes, you know that I am in the midst of Israel, that I am the Lord, Yahweh, your God, power, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men should dream dreams. Your young men should see visions. <coughs> Which is uh, people be having dreams. <coughs> now, the majority of them will be terrified. Because uh, they understood that the life they've been living in and claiming that they've been good to the Lord. You know, they, they were terrified the day of the Lord. You know, you're supposed to, that people going to be bugging out, you know. Some of them will be crying. Some of them will be, like, in shock. They'll be, uh. And some brothers, you know, brothers, we begin that too, you know, but that boosts us up, you know, that makes us happy because we want to see the downfall of this wicked kingdom. You know, this place is vaccine as hell. We want to get the eternal rest. We want to be with the Lord Yahweh on our side. We want to, we, we, we want that eternal rest, you know. We want to be in order, you know. We want to get our glory back after the Lord and his, after the Lord and his son gets that glory back. We want to be, we want to, we want to get that power back, you know. Your yeah, young men should see visions. Mainly, the Lord is dealing with Israelite men, but he's dealing with women and children, but he's mainly focusing on Israelite men, so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. You know, because the Israelite men supposed to be doing the works, provide, you know, doing the works, laying the works within truth and sincerity. <clears throat> you know? And uh, Israelite men is, is precious in the fine gold. You know? And that's like, man, it's worth more. You know, yeah, yeah, there's, uh, there's a huge value in the Israelite like, man. And there's less men more than women on earth. Because, again, it, the Lord made the Israelite like, man more precious. Like, there's, a, there's some serious value in it. And I'm talking about you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Verse 29. And also, upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days, I will pour out my spirit. And I will shoot wonders in the heavens and the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. We're talking about the day of the Lord. And the sun, the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the Lord. Yahweh's no side come. <coughs> the day of the Lord. The Lord, you know, is going to execute a terrible, terrifying judgment on planet earth. You know? All the wickedness they exceeded so high that it exceeded to to the heavens above heavens, and the, and it just pissed the Lord off too. It just pissed the Lord off, and it should come to pass that whosoever should call on the name of the Lord Yahweh and your Messiah shall be delivered. So not just doing the works, not just keeping the commandments to the best of your ability. Not just remaining in order to the best of your ability. Not just doing the videos. Not just doing camp lessons, but Calling on the name of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem on side, knowing the names, the true meaning of the names, and saying those names, praying to those names, giving high blessed praises and glory and honor, and humbly salutations to those names, daily will save you. <clears throat> calling on calling on the name of the Lord and His Son's name, especially when the day of trouble, when the day of Lord, when the judgment day comes, because you don't. You gonna need those names. You gonna need those names because without those names, you're done. You're done. The scripture said that the name of the Lord is safe. It's a it's a safe tower run. It's a tower. It's a strong tower. You and uh, the saints run and it's safe. The names are the boldness. They're the epitome of bold. <clears throat> for the Mount and for in Mount Zion. And in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord Yahweh has said. And in the remnant whom the Lord shall call, 
who are the remnant. We're going to go into the remnant right now. <clears throat> We're going to go into the remnant right now. Revelation 7 and 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel, which is the name from Jacob to Israel, which translates to Prince of Power. So that's the, that's the meaning of the name Israel, Prince of Power. Okay? Because uh, the Lord would, gave us a promise to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? So, verse 5. Of the tribe of Judah was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Reuben was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Gad was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Nephilim was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manasseh was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar was sealed 12,000. The tribe of Zebulun was sealed twelve thousand. The tribe of Joseph was sealed twelve thousand. The tribe of Benjamin was sealed twelve thousand. After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne, and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. And verse 10, cried and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, Yahweh, which sitteth upon the throne unto the Lamb, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Again, the Lord and his son is executing that great, terrible judgment. <coughs> the MOTB is a signal. It's a it's the biggest prophecy to set the judgment day. To set the judgment day. Okay, to set the to begin the day of the Lord, okay, it was that terrible judgment that no mankind has ever seen. No days in past, present, no past, no the future has seen. No time, history, no life has ever seen. The Lord for the at least hell, pure hell. But again, the scripture says many are called, but a few are chosen. 144,000. Out of 9 billion people. That's a lot of people being put to death, man. And there's going to be more Israelite women being put to death more than Israelite uh, men and children. Even though Jake's and kids be going off too, you know. And especially us brothers, we go off too. You know what I'm saying? We do the best we can. We're, we're, we're filthy rags. You know, we can admit it, you know. But that's us being humble to the best of our ability. But those people, but those shakes out there, the two thirds, they just think that they higher than themselves and they're deceiving themselves too. So again, um, in the dream that I had too, I want to talk about more about my dream. I've been having plenty of dreams lately, but I, 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 I've been having a hard time. I had a dream last night, but uh, I didn't know if that was part of the prophecy or the truth. But anyway, I'm not going to talk about that because um, I don't want to bring confusion, but I will talk about the dream I did. On the previous video I did. Um, so again, my sister got me, she got both of us in a car accident. She said she went to go get help, but then she dipped out on me. I checked on a car on the front, and there was a, a loud sound, like a trumpet sound. We looked up, and then we see chariots descending like in the cloud form, in like clouds, in uh, circular, circular clouds. The, the heavenly vehicles, the the only vehicles that could travel through heavens. And um, I was the first one to call on the name Yahweh on side. And other brothers was doing it too. And other guys was doing it, which were brothers that knows the name. So I was the first one to get beamed up the chariot. <coughs> I look around as I get beamed up and I see other chariots beaming up brothers. And then once I got the chariot, um, they were like, Angels decked out, you know, brothers around me, you know, sitting in the chair, sitting in the seats. The angels was passing out garments. They had the uh, the name of the tribe that they came from. I think I walked up and grabbed one, or they gave me a garment with the tribe that I came from, the tribe Gad. And um, 
be the sent down to witness some what's what's going on on downside and everybody was catching hell. And um this this scientist guy trying to come down, get in the battlefield, uh, trying to stop the day of the Lord, you know, prevent more apocalypse doing damage. And the Lord, you know, the, the Lord just pull out pull up out of nowhere and just, you know, did something, you know, he put a spell, he put a curse on them. I don't know what, but that scientist was Edomite, that Esau, that Edomite, he was terrified, you know, he was just, he was just going crazy. He crashed out until, like, he got turned to dust or whatever. He got, if something happened, he just disappeared, but with fear, you know, that put fear to me. But uh, that would tell, that would show you that the Lord is ought to be feared. The Lord, Yahweh, is a force to be reckoned with, Okay. Well, no, he he's not the he's not the force to be reckoned with. He's not the force to be reckoned with. You know, um, he's not the he's not the one to be played with. You know, so again, um, again, hey Amen. Uh, again, the title. Now, this is a quick header. Many people see visions, many visions being shown, but only a few will understand. That's the title of this lesson I'm doing. Many visions are being shown. Only few understands. So with that, hopefully this is it for I'm gonna give all praise on going to Yah Bas no Sabas Rock and Swak Dun. The Mouse Hapas has good mess on well. What you all on the two from peace out, say taste hopefully with that. I'm brother Kratza and that I'm gonna say shalom.